very good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the Imagine Cruising 2023 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Potter's Resort in Hopton on Sea. Another World Open Pairs match for you coming up. It's Jason Greenslade and Michael Stepney taking on the Canadian pair of Cody Oltoff and Dylan Jacobs. So let's have a look at what we have in coming up for the rest of today. Shortly following this match will be Jack Wells and Sam King taking on the South African pair of Gillian Young and Tinas Ulufsa. And then for the evening's entertainment at half past seven will be Les Gillett and Wayne Wilgress taking on Chris and John Carswell. Our match officials for this one, the marker is Bernie Hill and our official is Greg Brown. Well, let's go live to the famous portable rink here at Potter's Resorts and join our very own MC, Mr. Jack Jenkins. Yes, a very good afternoon. Now, first out this afternoon, we have a Canadian duo. One, a former national outdoor champion, and the other, his first time here at the World Championships. Please put your hands together for Cody Oltoff and Dylan Jacobs. Their opponents for this match have several national titles between them. One is a former Scottish Open champion and a previous winner of this event. Please give it up. From Wales, Jason Greenslade and Scotland's Michael Stepney. <laughs> hand you up to Graven, Ivan Cole and Jason Parkinson in the commentary box. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Jack. <laughs> He's giving you a different name every time you've commentated with me, Graham. It's, uh, in the commentary box is uh, Graham Irving Cole. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one, yeah. It's put you in the grave there, Graven. 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 So here we have... Um, <laughs> In red, Jason Greenslade is uh, just a correction to the announcement. Is uh, actually living in Guernsey now. Originally, obviously from Wales, now moves, lives in a lovely part of uh, the UK. At the bottom there, Michael Stepney, obviously from right at the top of uh, Scotland, Elgin. It's a long way away. Taking on the Canadian pair, but we've seen these before. Played very well in their prelim game. Half meters. Cody the skip, Dylan the lead. Once again, thank you for joining us for this Imagine Cruising World Open Championships, 17 days of top class bowls. Live with you on YouTube and Facebook for the whole event, so you don't have to miss a single bowl. Also, you can keep up to date with any news articles and videos, etc., either on our Facebook page or worldbowlstour.org. BBC will be joining us from next Monday. Spoil for choice, where you can see 125 hours of bolts. Yeah, and as always, um, for these matches, it's the best of two sets. Uh, nine hands in both sets, and if the scores are tied after those two sets, then we would then play a three-end tiebreaker, where it's uh, only whoever... You only score one shot, so it's whoever wins the end if we get to that stage. But we'll keep you informed throughout as to what's going on. And as always, if you do have any questions, then please pop them into a Facebook chat. And if we can reply, we will do. Two good second balls by both players. One red.
Drop them short. Yep, it's just a foot. Certainly a good track to reach the jack. I don't know, bought by Cody. <laughs> Just drop him short again, Michael. Well, it's all on pace. Yep, well played. Two shots, Holtoff and Jacobs. And a confident start by Cody. Yep. I guess there's always pros and cons with any sport, you know, they the, the con would be they've had they were drawn into a prelim space but that's given them match time on the green yeah, everybody, absolutely. Get, everybody gets that practice time you know you can allocate yourself a practice slot during the day or you can play you know early silly hours in the morning which a lot of the overseas players do but it's match time isn't it it's actually yeah. playing the difference of playing the different shots on this carpet i think that uh, that will help and a half meters there Jason's playing with his slightly narrower Tiger Pro Bowls Dylan's playing with a revolution it looks like made by Aero red Well, the track's good. Will the weight beat him? Yeah, that's just that two feet, that's all. Great attempt. Cody just looking to just correct his pace is a 
couple of balls he can just manage to sit off. So he's like going to slide past. And, uh, two minutes here for Michael Stepney to add the additional shot. Jason urging it up. Saying might need to get that in quick. <laughs> right on its uh, right on its lean there. Might even be sat in the grip. I'm not quite sure. Just a quick uh, question came in there while they measure this from Reese asking how the top 16 players yeah. pick their partners. And, uh, well, we, we always allow number one ranked player to choose first. So Les Gillett, yeah, for example, yeah. he gets first choice. He chose Wayne. Then it goes down to number two. He gets a pick. Number three gets a pick. And then obviously if uh, the first top players pick somebody else, that's <coughs> in with the top eight, then obviously the ninth seed player would then so get to pick. What was it, two red? Two. <coughs> two shots. And then whoever's last pick doesn't really get a pick. <laughs> Just let him back at school. <laughs> yeah, they were, they really Let's go, two, two, two after two ends. Jack then 26 and a half metres. Oh, just that yard. Another double session for you this afternoon, spoiling you with choice. We have uh, Jack Wells and Sam King, uh, two young, talented qualifiers who qualified out of Huntingdon Bowls Club, which is Nick Brett's bowling club. They're taking on Gillian Young, very young, 21-year-old, and uh, Tinas Ulufsa uh, from uh, South Africa. Uh, Nick Brett will be joining me in the commentary for that one. About time he did a bit of work. I need to go for a light down. Well, I age. Said it. Yeah, yeah. We'll be back together again at seven thirty. One green.
Well played by Cody. Okay, cracking ball. For those of you wanting to know what the schedule of play is Two green. for the event, green. I've just posted a link for you into the comments on Facebook. Just click that and you'll see the uh, you'll see the schedule there. Who's playing who at what time? through it slightly. Yep. Didn't want to be short, did he? No, down. definitely not. No. Cody just exactly the same, just pushed All through it slightly. Jacobs. Yep. So, what's another pair? Set score 2 4 after 3 end. Four more World Open pairs games for you as well tomorrow. Jacqueline, the first of our half World Open singles in the evening, where Jason, who's on the rink now, will face Neil Furman in the evening session. Good start, everybody. Very good. Yeah, good start from Dylan again. Really settled into this portable ring. Oh, you've got. Yeah, just that yard, mate. Jason just looking for a yard further here. <clears throat> green. Line back, Cody just pushed through it there. Yes, Mike, just needs to run now. Just try. Well, we'll Close get back here. to it. Tried its best. <laughs> Super effort. No change, good.
There's no change. So two, we've got the two spots if you did one of a day, or you play for a second, maybe shot. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, just asking there, can you play fancy? the shot bowl onto the other bowl? Could make a, a three. It would take a good bowl to, to beat it. Down, Mike. Okay, should, you should get one. That's okay, well done. Yeah, yeah. One cut, one away. One shot, Old Tough and Jacobs. Set so score two, five after four. There you see the cameras panning around this international arena here at Rogers Resort. Canadians off to a flying start in this open pairs. Jack length 28 and a half metres. line pace was pretty yeah. decent yeah just didn't give it the green you get punished there if you're if you're under it any weight Here by Jason. Yeah, excellent start. I was actually playing with his Evos, I think. Yeah. Uh, Evo, yeah. Oh, yeah. Needs to keep turning. Oh, what a bowl. One red. Well, one to red at the moment. Two, two extras there for, for green, second and third. Cody will just look at playing a full draw down this forehand. Just get up to the red ball. Won't want to chase it, because that makes it a little bit more difficult. Just try and guarantee the pace. Just get up to it, and any connection will be a bonus for two or three. Just sitting it away will be enough to get the shot. Yeah. Through. Yeah, because yeah, they would just allow that extra, it's just a bit difficult to think. Even just if I just sneak in, if you are joining us from Canada to support Cody and Dylan, good morning to you. I have, I have family uh, in Hamilton. Oh, do you? Yep, not too far from. Niagara, which is where I see the pair play bubbles. Cody just needs to drop four feet. There's something wrong with that. Yeah, he knew straight away. Well, it's, it's one of those, isn't it? Do you try and get a touch, but 
go wrong, I'm just wondering if just draw around the back on the, yeah, around the back end. Just, I mean, as long as you don't fall against the jack or something. This for an Back effort. Finish, yeah. What an effort. Oh, yeah. What an effort that was. <clears throat> One shot. Green Slade and Stepney. Set score three five after five. reached no nope. nope, it's not Jack length, 28 and a half metres. Good up my bike, Dylan. Up to you. One green. The choice is yours, either draw for one or you just lift theirs away for difficult shots. Yeah, okay.
again, just that little bit of I think just playing it safe on the draw over here now. Delicate draw from Cody. Yeah, just rest mine, it's good for two. Just to be careful. Oh. I think he's okay, <laughs> I think. <laughs> One shot, Old Toth and Jacobs. Yep, with those two misfits in the, uh, <laughs> the three, viewing six, gallery there. Yeah, there. yeah. Oh, David, me. There's the commentators from the last <laughs> game. The producer could have put a filter on them. <laughs> That was the filter on them. No. <laughs> Stuart and Darren having a well earned rest there after letting you and I have a, a nice little Jack break. Jack Lenz, 29 and a half metres. <coughs> It'll cost me for the rest of the evening, I'm sure. <laughs> I think it's always quite nice to get some of the top 16 players in, so. The viewers that are tuning in from all over the place just to get a different take on yeah definitely how the players are thinking yeah you know we only give our opinion but they can give exactly how they may be thinking in certain circumstances and i think that's just quite a, a nice touch we, we tried it last year it, we went down really really well so a huge thanks to the uh, the top 16 players as well for getting involved and uh coming to talk to you all Well, just both of them just lost the pace a little bit. It does change, doesn't it? Like we say, as the day goes on, the, the speed just fluctuates. I think sometimes if it just changes slightly, it's worse than if it changes yeah, yeah. quite about a big bit. Yeah. We'll, uh, do a quick check on the speed of the green again just to see what it is from this morning. Made the good adjustment. Well played, Dylan. Jason, not far away here. Yeah, he's giving this a great try. Oh, unlucky. Great effort. One green. Line there. Yeah. yeah, as you can see, uh, you can see the target now. You can uh, attack this. Ball solid onto ball. Connection onto the jack also will be uh, second prize. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very <laughs> close. I was going to flick it out to you as a whistle. Yeah. Go again. Yeah. 
Definitely very unlucky there with his first ball. Yeah. Again. One shot, Altoff and Jacobs. Set score three seven after seven ends. <coughs> well, just one end away now from uh, stealing this first set. Four in it with two to play. Did you win this end? That'll be enough. Jack length, 29 and a half metres. Good balls again, yep. Just find a ball, go wider, wait just a bit back on, sit someone beside it. Just need to hang on yet, I think. Just, I'm probably just going to go here. Yeah, oh just underneath again. Not at all, mate. Just the <laughs> quick question in asking where the Canadian boys are from. Just had a quick look at the player profiles. It is the London area of uh, Ontario. They play out of uh, it's a Niagara Falls bowling club, so. Niagara Falls will be about two hours' drive to the east of London, which is situated just above Port Stanley for those that are not from that area. Not too far from water every way around it, really. Beautiful, beautiful part of uh, Canada. One green, close for second. <laughs> now out on that wide line. We've still got the spots there for a two. What is a bad shot? Is on this hit there? It should lock on there. Or you get the splash on the two balls, or it's whatever you fancy. Or you just try like a dead draw there. Well, Jason's giving Mike all the available options. I like they have to win this end, obviously, to keep it alive. 
So, I mean, drawing for a second is no option. They they really do okay. need to just try and make yeah, something okay. happen. I mean, yeah, it, it might shot. draws down this back out and just thickens it up, maybe. That might be also an option. Yeah, and it's good as well that Jason gave him confident options to play. Um, just over. I still like trying to get this spot yeah. here, Code, and even if you come back through to here and split the red up, yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's going to play pretty direct, you know, yeah. kills the end, tries to get the spot. Like Mike just said then, you could just pick up on the Atmos Mike. So there is a chance of getting both green balls away. an absolutely fantastic hit I mean he, One red and a he really did jam that jack between the shot bowl and the ball that he played and the, the jacks only moved what a yard this could be a big big turnaround you could just see you know Canadian pair well they'll be a little bit disappointed to be fair they they had two bowls at covering that that spot I don't think it'll just be quite as bad if it's just a one shot yeah, it just depends on what it is Keeps them alive though. Let's go back to this red ball again. And it's, it's very tight. Yeah. It's green, so one shot well. to red. They'll be pleased with that. Two shots. They will be. Worse. Yeah. I think um, <coughs> once the dust settled there at that the end of that end, I think um, Canadian boys will be yep. far happier. In hindsight, the jack probably just travelled maybe six or seven inches too far for Michael and Jason. So into the last end of this first set. Jack length 25 and a half meters. It's not off. Yeah, it's yeah, that's quite a bit. You can just see, I mean, Bernie put it on the centre line. Jason's just questioned the the centre line there. I mean, I mean, we do get a little bit of movement. Obviously, it's like, it's like any carpet, isn't it? You know, it's stretched as everything starts to uh, relax. Uh, the spots will move. The checked every single morning and adjusted, realigned. See with that or Jason's eyesight is me. I think he's I think he's need to go to Barnard Castle. Yeah. <laughs> First time it's been challenged, so we'll have a look at that one.
Canadians are in a little bit of bother here. <coughs> Cody's going to have to really just concentrate on Do making it. sure he guarantees himself a really good second. Wherever he puts it, Michael will be able to try and get at it. I mean, he won't want to drop a very loose three on the last end of a set, that's for certain. How's his weight? Because his line isn't too bad. I don't think it's just pulling up shot, is it? Well, it's just fell away. Need a wee touch. Just needs a slight touch in the jack here. Just not going to reach, so it's going to just be one, one to red, and they'll concede that shot, and that makes one first set, set seven five for the Canadian first pair. set, Altoff and Jacobs. Well, once again, thank you for joining us here at the World Indoor Bowls Championships. As you can tell, we have a brand new sponsor this year, which is great to see. And let's have a quick look now at why Imagine Cruising is more than just a cruise. Well, there we go. That's uh, nothing short. They're very impressive, really. Lots of choice. And, I mean, look at some of those cruises they had. I mean, the, the, the train that journeys, especially. And that's, and half that's right up my street. Yeah, it looks really good. When we go in. Well, if you're paying, then. <laughs> Take out the salary here, and I'll put the rest too. <laughs> No, it's, a, it's a great to have them on board. You know, Imagine Cruises are an exclusive and luxury global tour operator. The offices are based in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, and also South Africa. They specialize in truly once in a lifetime holidays and cruises all across, across the globe and they're individually created by experts that are actually based into the destinations that you're traveling. So it, it really will be a, a holiday of a lifetime. Take a look at their website there to give you a call back Quick question just in, can they change positions? Yes, they can. Um, the lead and the skip is allowed to change. However, you can only change at the end of each set. So you can change it for the first set if you want to, and then if you manage to squeeze it to a tie break, you can change again, but then you must stay the same. So yeah, during a set or during a tie break, nope, but at the end of each set, yes. Brian Clements. Three red. Yes. Uh, it's just down to how you're playing on the day and how you're feeling, you know. Maybe both of these players just think they 
Might get something a little bit different if they swap. Just change the dynamics, maybe. I mean, the line three. <laughs> for it through here. Stay anywhere up to the tee, gets both spots. says there if, he, if the jack goes out of play that's both spots covered as it sits with Jason's last ball there Just sliding past, so two shots, green slade and Stepney. Two shots in the opening end here in the second set. Length 26 metre. Certainly a good decision, wasn't it, just to make that change? I mean, dropped on a length straight away. Yeah. If the option's there, I think, you know, why not use it if they felt they've maybe struggled in that first set? First time, the first year they've played together as well, so it'd be yeah. just you know just trying to get the dynamics correct. How they think they can best work together. about why we don't use the One shot red. clock uh, in the pairs but well, we've never really done that in the past I mean the two bowl pairs is, is quick anyway it's very very quick just it's just slightly more um, harder to manage if you wish I mean with that second ball there finishing uh, of Dylan's the other players then automatically got to get up to the other end of the green to send the balls so where does the shot clock come into play whilst the lead yeah. skips are swapping over because um, then it would only be for one bowl anyway if you did it um, so there's th pros and cons. I think most of the uh, most of the players are pretty quick enough anyway. Two red. I mean that's why we enforce that both skips go back to the mat at the same time, and one skip doesn't stay back at the head for the first bolt. Oh, great bowl here. He gets to that red one solid. <coughs> yeah. Yes, well played. 
Long breed. as well here by Cody. One shot, Holtoff and Jacobs. Set score 2 1 up to two ends. Jack length, 29 and a half metres. Good again. Two good starts from both players there. Give me a foot on weight. Just a reminder again, it's um, best of two sets. Uh, nine ends in both sets. Um, First set went to green, um, so red therefore needs to win this set to put the game to a three-end tie-break. It goes well played again. Yeah, two great balls from Michael Stepney. Two red. It's about two feet short of the jack high. It's really right in the line to get to the green bowl at the side, but you can get to the jack. It's up to you. But it's probably better, yeah. Cody's just taking a little break on the back wall there. Yep, quite like the line. Still a thought now. 
Just over, line bang on for it. You're waiting to close, code. Yard. Your line's perfect, just a nice throw it there, throw it the side. Yeah, a bit of a bad end there. Yeah, big chance for a three here. Yep, similar line. It's on the weight now. Jason. Yes, Jason. Drop now. Drop. Yes, is in, oh. I think. Very well played here. Yeah, is in. Yeah, three shots, good three there Green's for the Lade and Stepney. pair in red. Let's go, 5-1 after three ends. Jack length, 23 and a half metres. Just over the bare minimum. So this time. Good adjustment regardless. One red. Enforcing the rules. <laughs> We're just talking about that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Both uh, both skips do have to go back to the mat at the same time. That is part of the rules. As is being able to swap positions at the end of each set. Just as well played here. Yeah. <laughs> Two red. It's not going to get back, I don't think. Like cover the spots. 
حالا تو این جسد Well, it is a big target. <laughs> I think if he draws a shot here, then he's going to eat one if it's not changed. If it doesn't cover the spot, then he could potentially lose one, maybe two at a push. So. wasn't bad to the spot, was it? No, and that's the, th that's the shot he wanted to play, so yep. I think sometimes you're as well just playing the shot that's in your head. Cody will go for the split, see if he can remove the balls. Two shots. Greenslade and Stepney. Set score seven one after four ends. Four and a half meters. <coughs> I'm sure what was going on there? I don't, I don't <laughs> know, know if Michael know. thought he was maybe not far enough, but um. <laughs> I don't think Jason was in the correct place. Michael Stepney certainly uh, jumped onto his length since he's swapped into the lead position. He's playing some really good, yeah. tight lead bowls. It's been a, uh, a wise change. Yes, I mean, <coughs> not just for them, you know, it, it's, it certainly helped them as, as a pairing. You know, I've said a few times yeah. that, you know, two bowl pairs can be won from the front if you consistently put good balls up. Um, you know, Dylan was playing ex some exceptional stuff in the first set. He's just slightly started to lose his pace in the second set. Just needs to, you know, just keep this set alive as long as he can and just claw the way back into it. Just try and get that pace back in your arm. So I'll play two. Three red. Well, Cody. They just have given up. Michael signaling that Jason and him hold one. 
Yeah, so it was a good saver, it was a big yeah. ball. Giant here, any movement in the white's good. <coughs> All down to pace from there. Come on, Dylan, shift. He's a, he's a tall lad. The green ball's just fallen out, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, it has just toppled over, hasn't it? Made a big difference. I mean, before that, I mean. Could well be a three here. I think had that ball fallen Too before, mm -hmm. you know, maybe Cody yeah. played his last ball. He'd been better off just attacking it. There's nothing to lose. Yeah, just one of them unfortunate things. Okay, question from Hugh Duff there. Does Jason not normally partner Les Gillett? Yep, has done. For the last few years, I mean, they were a new partnership a few years ago. Won it on their first outing together had a conversation and decided to uh, try something a bit different. So Les now plays with Wayne Wilgris and obviously Jason is with Michael Stepney. Sometimes they say a change is good as a rest. Two shots, Greenslade and Stepney. Question here, hope you keep him very well. Jack Nenth, twenty four and a half meters. And a good adjustment by Michael Stepney. Dylan just keeping to his forehand. Weight wasn't too bad, just missed the line a little bit. Oh, well played. One green.
Yep, yeah, just about over. I think Cody needs to play down the other hand now, down to the red bowl. Would look better. Yep, yeah. that'll be his target. He was urging it. Yeah, still need to be a red ball. Yes, just slightly behind Jack High, the target. Just hit it away for three. Just yeah. the slightest touch on the Jack also would probably make the three. I would say he's under at that. It just depends on the speed. You could corner that in for. Yeah. Yeah, has done. Two. Two shots. Altoth and Jacob. So six adrift now. So it's got nine three after six ends. Six in three is not impossible. Take a bit of doing, but write it off just yet. Yeah, if you stay with us, we do have a second game this afternoon. English qualifiers, Jack Wells and Sam King, local lads not too far from here. Jack men, 29 and a half metres. Facing Gillian Young and Tinas Ulufsa from South Africa. And we have the evening session at uh, 7.30 where there's Gillett, current world champion and not world <coughs> number one. Playing with Wayne Wilgress will take on the Scottish qualifiers of uh, Chris and John Carswell, father and son combination. for Michael to try and nail this end. Easy. Just got to turn. Yeah, we'll play Michael. Well One red. Yeah. There we have the lads in red. That's Sam King, Mervyn's son on the far left. Actually looks like him in the face, doesn't it? And little Jack Wells there. Uh, taking to the, the green next. They're waiting with anticipation. Yep. yep. I always find it hard. If, if you're on a double session, you're on that second game, it's just hard because you're, first of all, hanging around. You're not sure exactly when the game's going to finish. And then when you do finally get to have a go and have a chuck, um, you know, you only get those two trial ends and you're straight off. Oh, look at this. Great well played, ball. Cody. Go on, mate. Calm down. <laughs> I 
and we Jack Wells will be leading and Sam skipped from Qualifier. I was there to watch that one. Just enough. Just locking, mate. Up yet. Up as far as you can. Nose past the green. Yep. Oh. Same idea, Cody. Even red and down's good. Yep. Similar, even if he gets a split between his own and the jack. May just squeeze a third in. I've got two seconds if you wanted just to play it up for the ball. Anyway, you can draw it off or you can just play up any. Hold. Hold. Oh, I'm bad results now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I could say no, 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 no. <laughs> One shot. All stuff and shake. <coughs> Set's gone nine for after seven ends. So Michael and Jason just need to score here to send the game into a three end tie break. Jack length 28 and a half metres. Question there, if a qualifying pair win the pairs, do they come back next year to defend or do they have to qualify if not inside the top 16? No, they will come back to defend the title. Whether they're qualifiers or not, it's only right. Resetting himself. Yes, well played. Two yeah, red. I said, can I, two or three ends ago, it's made a big difference. Michael and Jason swapping round. Yes, it certainly steadied the ship. I think yeah. it was, you know, Jason was struggling a little bit at lead. Michael, you know, was attacking because he wasn't having many balls around. Decided to swap started putting some really good lead balls in and Jason was adding to them so yeah like you say the dynamic was tried again in a different way and has worked I mean if they wanted to if they did get it to a tie break they could swap again but I very much doubt I they will no I would doubt that
So, Jason covering this spot here and covering it very well. The only thing he's got is that very difficult yard over tickle on the jack to try and make that two or three where Dylan stood. This is difficult. It's just slipping yeah. past. Yeah. Got decent pace for it. Two shots in the second set. Stepney, Greenslade and Stepney match tiebreak. So two more shots for Jason and Michael. They take the second set. Eleven shots to four. Into a three-end tiebreak we go now. The rules slightly change. It uh, doesn't matter how many shots you score per end. First pair into Dylan score Dylan won the toss and elected to give the two of the to Michael in the first end. We'll uh, go through to the quarterfinals. The first two ends are still played to a respot. Third end, that's when you get to have the chance to kill it, should you wish. The Canadians have just got to settle down now, kind of like just steady yeah. it and uh, you know regroup. <coughs> Big breaths, go again. Anything can happen in a tie break. Absolutely, those two sets are now gone. It's just about holding the nerve for the next three ends. I hope that it's just two for whoever. These teams have won nine ends each. It's better. Yep, it's a good ball. Well, I've always said in a tie break, you just need to find that one good ball sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. One's all they need. So that's three games we've commented on, Jason, and they've all went to <coughs> tiebreak. Four, there was four. There's a four. Oh, well, it's a great bowl. It's 
slightly, uh, uh, slightly unfortunate where it's finished. I think Cody's just got to maybe hit hit this and try and recover with his, his final bolt. I mean, to draw that off will be very difficult. Never is he drawing on the backhand. Oh, oh. I would say that's a tight lane. As long as you're past the green. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's the right shot. No, I think it's um, I think personal choice. I know. Yeah, absolutely. But I think when it's only, it's whoever wins the end. Yep. Gets the end, you know, and it's. They've all the bat balls as well. Do you know what yep. I mean? Giving Jason that chance now to cover. Even if he got two away with his first bowl, he gave himself a yard. Yeah. Here he was giving himself a very, very difficult bowl. We have seen him play these big bowls though a few times over the last couple of days. Definitely further. Sure, Dylan. Thank you. <laughs> He's just going to drive past. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Just gone out First the back. End, Green Slade and Stepney. <laughs> so, first tie break end goes to Michael and Jason. Again for the Canadian guys now. <laughs> Must get a real good first bowl in, just try and get that bit of pressure on that's been lacking. Jacqueline, 26 and a half metre. A yard. Opener by Michael Stepney. Yep. Now he just needs to clear this front bowl and he's having a look. Can he clear it though? Ooh. Unlock it, wasn't too far away. Don't forget to stay, stay with us for the second match of this afternoon's session. We'll follow in straight after this one. Chatwell, Sam King, Gillian Young, Tina one Smith, sir. Yeah, very quick 10 minute break. I'll be straight back with you.
Well, looking to peel the bowl away. Under. Yep. Just far away, isn't it? Well, we've got one more bullet at this. Perfect. <laughs> Still looking at playing very quick underneath there, peeling the bowl away. Leave the jack where it is. That's the only option he has. Have to go quick. Down he goes. Needs a result. <coughs> so I think all the green bowls have gone off the side of the rink. Yes, they have. So it's going to be the second tie break end to. Jason Second in the tie break in the match, Greenslade and Stepney. Great attempt there from the, the Canadian lads, Dylan Jacobs and uh, Cody Oltoff did a, a really good game. Entertained us for the last few days and we wish them well and a safe trip. Thank you for joining me for this game, uh, Graham. Yeah, it was enjoyable. Um, I look forward to going for my sleep now and uh, then joining you again at 7.30. Look forward to it. So coming up next then, it's going to be Jack Wells and Sam King against Gillian Young and Tina's Alufsa back in 10.